Us. Kelly Clarkson of People Like Us, 80s, 90s, and now 98.3 The Key. It's Big Jim, Stacey Lee here getting it done on a Thursday, 7.52. Let's welcome her to the show. I know Stacey's just been uh, she's been frothing at the mouth over this one. <laughs> it is, uh, if you're a big fan of Dexter, and you probably uh, know all about Amy Garcia, she plays Jamie Batista. That would be Dexter's nanny. Welcome to the show, Amy. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Amy, right. now this season has been awesome. I'm really concerned about your character because your character is so entwined. You've got Quinn, Batista's sister, and Dexter's nanny. So all those three things lead me to think something's big going on with your part. <laughs> yes. Well, when you're on a show with a serial killer, your head is on the chopping block at any moment, and you can die at any time. So um, I'm definitely, uh, you know, at risk of that. And you're right. I mean, I call her like she's like the CEO of Dexter's personal life. You know, she's like the closest thing he has to a wife and the closest thing that Harrison has to a mom. And she keeps him all in check and in order. And Dexter wouldn't be able to be the serial killer he is if he didn't have dinner on the table and his clean, you know, laundry done. And um, but, yeah, we get to definitely see... um, more of her not only naked side but uh but you know more kind of adult side with Quinn and, and that whole relationship and I'm excited you're gonna get to see her kind of go toe to toe with Dexter this episode and kind of put him in his place a little bit no no hang really on a second fun. let's go back to you get to see her naked side is that what you said <laughs> Yeah, she definitely, um, my Reveals. dad is not super excited about that part, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, as, on the first, you know, as you know, like the first, um, episode, there's a, there's a sex scene with her, like it's like full on, and, uh, I, and my dad and his buddies over to watch the episode, he's like, oh, you know, Dexter is premiering, <laughs> and I totally forgot to warn him. And um, and I called him the next day, and I'm like, hey, Dad, what's going on? And there was just a silence. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> well, um, yeah, because Jamie Batista, you know, like last season, kind of in the background, you know, and then this season, bam, right in the front, you know, with that relationship and the, the sex scene. And <laughs> yeah, literally, bam. I mean, it's like uh, go big or go home. It's funny, even the, the, the showrunner, um, when the main writer on the show said, you know, for the first time, our ratings went up on the second episode. <laughs> he's like, I don't want to say anything, but, you know, and, I, and he's like, and, and I just tease him because I got a ton of marriage proposals on Twitter. They're like, will you marry me? Will you marry me? And and I thought, oh, my God, guys are so simple. They're like, me like but, me marry but, you know, not, 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 that, not that you speak like a, ne- you know, a caveman Neanderthal, but it was very sweet. Like, on, it was just so funny. I mean, you, you see a little bit of but and then people. <laughs> and and the guys are so sweet. They go they go a little crazy. But um but yeah, she gets to kind of, you know, be more adult and not just have all her scenes with um with Harrison and, and, and you're right. She's definitely like something happens through the season that kind of changes her forever and and I feel like her character is such a bright light in such a dark world and it's kind of hard for your boss to be a serial killer and not get dragged into the darkness so you see a little bit of that this season and uh, and it's fun you know because you get to see her emotional side and, and more of her adult side and, and get to know her a little bit more outside of her, her nanny duties. Okay I know this is going to sound strange but um, Michael C. Hall. I I know he's a serial killer on the show, but I slightly have a crush on him. <laughs> How is he to work well, with? You're, yeah, you're not the only one. We were shooting the other day, and some girl came up to him, and they're like, um, "Will you strangle me? Will you will you pretend to kill me?" Oh no! Oh, <laughs> I couldn't believe. It. I mean, girls find him so sexy, so you are not alone. And I do not judge or think it's weird if you want him to strangle you.